Hi. I have the Honeywell HC311 zone controller and am running two zones in my townhome. My thermostats are also Honeywell, and I'm having a heater problem, hopefully you can help. The unit has run with no issues until last week, so hopefully it's something minor. I turned off the thermostats and the zone controller, reset the breakers for both heat and AC. The I turned the zone controller back on and let it cycle through the purge. All three zone lights came on green, although I just have two zones, I think that's okay. Regardless of whether I try zone 1 or zone 2 thermostat, when I make the call for heat, the heater starts, I can see the gas flame, and the fan comes on. After a few seconds, the safety shuts everything down because it appears that the damper controls are not opening the dampers. Once this happens, I have to reset everything again before it will even come on. In other words, once the safety shuts down the system, I can try turning on the thermostat again and nothing happens at all until I reset everything. Is there something with the damper controls on the controller unit that I can check? or something on the dampers themselves? It's just illogical that it would be working fine and then the dampers just stop working. Thanks so much, and sorry it's so long, I just wanted to provide as much detail as possible. e -belk. Hello, welcome to Just Answer. Hi, where do I see your answer? In this window, I only see my post. Since the dampers are not opening, I would verify you have 24 volts going to the zone motor then should be opening. Do you have a multimeter to check this? What is happening is the furnace is cycling on limit since the air has nowhere to go due to the dampers not opening. The motors are initiated by a 24 volt signal from the zone panel. If the motor has 24 volts going to it when you are calling for heat in that zone, then it should be opening. If you do not have 24 volts, then the zone panel is bad. Correct, and everything has been working fine until last week and it just quit working. It seems everything except the dampers is fine, the dampers just aren't opening. Okay. This is relatively easy to diagnose with a multimeter. I would also make sure the dampers are not binding. Do you have any more questions? If not, please be sure to rate me today. Thanks, Neil. Also, when I reset everything, and the zones all show green. When I turn on the thermostat, the heat lead is red and if I recall, the zone turns red too. Is there something on the damper itself I need to check? No, all the lead lights you are seeing are normal. The damper motor does not have any lights. All you can check is the signal from the zone panel board to the zone motor. Start at the board with zone 1, and verify you have 24 volts at the two terminals on the board for zone 1. Make sure the wires connected to these terminals have good connections. If you have 24 volts at the zone panel board, but you do not have 24 volts at the zone motor, then the wiring needs to be checked to ensure all connections are good and no wires are broken. If you do also have 24 volts at the zone motor, and it is not opening up, then the damper is either bad or binding. Okay, thanks for the advice, and I'll check the voltage. Just a couple more questions and I should be good to go. First, will the voltage be going to the motor only when the call is made, or when the system is on but idle? Second. What can I do if the damper is binding? 
Thanks, I'll rate after this. Smile. Yes, the voltage will be going to the motor only that is calling for heat, and only when you are calling for heat, assuming the motors and power open, spring closed. If you installed spring open, power closed dampers, then it will be the opposite. The zone calling for heat will not get 24 volts to it, instead the zone not calling for heat will get 24 volts so it can close. Make sure they are installed correctly according to the damper instructions. Gotcha, thanks for pointing that out. I'm assuming that since the system is off now, however the dampers are positioned will let me know which way they were installed. Also, if the damper is binding, you have to see what is causing it. Make sure it is not twisted or jammed into the duct. It should fit in there smoothly. Yes, when the system is off, that will indicate whether it is normally in the spring open or closed position. Awesome, thanks. Have a great afternoon and I'm rating you excellent for your prompt replies and patience in answering my questions. If you have a home improvement or appliance question and want to chat with an expert now visit justanswer.com slash YTHI.